please join in praying for the sick and homebound and those on our parish prayer list. Father of goodness and love, hear our prayers for the sick members of our community and for all who are in need. Amid mental and physical suffering, may they find consolation in your healing presence. Show your mercy as you close wounds, cure illnesses, make broken bodies whole, and free downcast spirits. May these special people find lasting health and deliverance, and so join us in thanking you for all your gifts. We ask this through the Lord Jesus, who healed all who believed. Amen. The entrance antiphon. Mold the hand, God's prudent servant, whom the Lord set over his household. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we pray especially for uh, first intention living and deceased members of the La Ni family. And the de second intention is for, this is Dick and Bob Esposito. Uh, through the intercession of St. Joseph, uh, let us offer also our personal intentions, um, uh, those prayers that we have in our hearts, uh, remembering those who are suffering, who are nursing homes, uh, who would like to join us uh, also to celebrate the Mass, but because they uh, cannot and are joining us through internet. So all those prayers let us offer to the Lord and at the beginning let us acknowledge our sins and let us ask for God's forgiveness. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your inexpressible providence were pleased to choose Saint Joseph a spouse of the most holy mother of your son, grant we pray that we who revere him as our protector on earth may be worthy of his heavenly intercession. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes with an inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. We know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined 
to be conformed to the image of his son so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, my hope, O oh Lord, is in your mercy. My hope, O oh Lord, is in your mercy. Look, answer me, O oh Lord, my God. Give light to my eyes that I may not sleep in death, lest my enemies say, I have overcome him, lest my love rejoice at my downfall. My hope, O oh Lord, hope, oh Lord, is in your mercy. Though I am trusted in your mercy, let my heart rejoice in your salvation. Let me sing of the Lord. He has been good to me. My hope, O oh Lord, is in your mercy. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. God has called us through the gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus passed through the towns and villages teaching as he went and making his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, will only a few people be saved? He answered them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate, for many, I tell you, will attempt to enter but will not be strong enough. After the master of the house has arisen and locked the door, then will you stand outside knocking and saying, Lord, open the door for us. He will say to you in reply, I do not know where you are from. And you will say, we ate and drank in your company and you taught in our streets. Then he will say to you, I do not know you. I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, all you evil doers. And then there will be wailing and grinding of teeth when you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and you yourselves cast out. And people will come from east and the west and from the north and the south and will recline a table in the kingdom of God. For behold, some are last who will be first and some are first who will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Deacon. Oh, boy. Our saint for today, Blessed Bartholomew of Venencia, Blessed Bartholomew, who was born in Venencia, Italy, in the year 1200. Following his ordination to the priesthood, he entered the Dominican order, where he served a, a variety of leadership positions. In his early youth, he founded a military order whose stated goal was to keep civil peace in those towns 
throughout Italy, and that was extremely important at that time. There was bedlam in that particular nation. The next highlight of his career was his appointment as a bishop in 1248, which to most, most of us, would be considered an honor. But Bartholomew's, Bartholomew considered this a form of exile, which was what he felt was undertaken by the anti-papal um, group who wanted him away from the papacy in Rome. They felt that his influence on the Pope was too great, and they wanted him out of there. He was therefore transferred to Cyprus, Greece, but it was short-lived, and soon he was turned, he was returned back, transferred back to Ven Venencia, where he worked tireless tirelessly to rebuild his diocese and strengthen the people's loyalty to Rome. While in Venencia, he not only continued to teach the truths of the faith, he was so effective in bringing peace to the region, and this is important, I found this, he was so effective in bringing this peace, he was asked by the people to become their temporal leader, and that indeed is an honor. He was venerated by the people and was so honored by the title of blessed, in recognition of his work on their behalf. St. Bartholomew died in, 12, in the year 1271, and he was beatified in 1793. And now the gospel for today. And I've chosen this particular verse from Luke. Luke in, in chapter 13, verse 29. And the people will come from the east and the west and from the north and the south and will recline at the table in the kingdom of God. From the east and the west, north and the south. That encompasses everything. And that's what I felt in this reading. This particular chapter in Luke is rich in its teaching that the master wishes to convey to all of us this morning. Now after all, we know that te Jesus is the consummate teacher. The question of can all people be saved, that particular question comes up in the Bible yet again. And it's addressed in this case, as it is in a number of cases, using parables. However, since our primary purpose of being here this morning at Mass is to participate in the sacrifice of the Mass, I've just chosen 29, verse 29, to reflect, for you to reflect on this morning. It's very rich, if you think about it. In this verse, from the Gospel of Luke this morning, the key thing that I took away was that no one group is singled out in God's kingdom. What does that mean? It means that all people of all cultures, all races, from every area of the globe are at the feast, everyone. Yet again, as we know, as we study the Bible, yet again, all are called. Why? Because they're inspired by Jesus' emphasis, Jesus' message of love and forgiveness. Once again, Jesus' emphasis here is on the lack of divisions in the kingdom, which is what we need so much today. Women, Men, children are all present. Young, old, healthy, sick, educated, illiterate, native, foreign, those from all walks of life all have a place at our Lord's feast. In the same way, we must work ourselves individually and as groups 
to break down divisions among people, treating everyone as equally deserving of God's call. And so we end with a little prayer, a little short prayer. Dear God, let us pray unceasingly to hear that call. Amen. Amen. As we strive for holiness by following God's commandments, we turn to him with our prayers. For the church throughout the world, may God give us the strength to live in this his truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God grant them ears to hear the cries of the poor and help them to act with mercy towards those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who feel lost or abandoned, especially those suffering from depression. May God provide comfort and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may God continue to lead us towards, his na towards the narrow gate with hearts full of joy and gratitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who have gone before us in faith, may God grant them peace and eternal rest in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we lift these prayers to you. Look with uh, favor upon them and grant them according to your holy will through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Lord Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit we encounter our heart may be accepted by you, O Lord. May sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasant to you, O God. Thank you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the holy church. As we prepare to offer the sacrifice of praise, O Holy Father, we humbly ask to be sustained in our service by the prayers of St. Joseph, whom you called to watch like a father on earth over your only begotten son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, and in honoring St. Joseph to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household. 
to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ, through him. The angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. <coughs> Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ give me some for eternal life. Communion Antiphon. Well, well done, done, good and faithful servant. servant. Come, share your master's joy. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ. 
Amen. Let us pray. Restored by these life-giving sacraments, Lord, may we live for you always in justice and holiness, held by the example and intercession of St. Joseph, when carrying out your great mysteries, served you as a man just and obedient through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is over. Let us go forward in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. A guardian God of the Redeemer, Redeemer spouse, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you, God, entrusted His only Son. In you, Mary, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ, Christ became man. Blessed, Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a Father, and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. Amen. A novena to St. Jude. A righteous St. Jude, Jude, apostle, martyr, and companion of Christ, Christ. Grant, grant that I may, may grow constantly in a loving relationship, relationship with, God. with God. In working in out my salvation in this life, this life I, have I have infinite, infinite needs and desires and that God places place within me. Today I turn to you, asking you to intercede for me. St. Jude, I have specific requests of God 
that may only partially fill the infinite needs and desires that are in my heart. I ask that you pray not only for those requests, but also for greater reliance on God to satisfy the needs and desires that I may seek May in God I seek with a sincere heart, heart, knowing that it will profit me nothing if I gain, I gain the whole the world, world, yet, yet suffer, suffer the loss, loss of my soul. My soul. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in the splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. Thank you so much. Have a very blessed day.